few years, September has been a pretty good month for me in terms of Disney visiting amusement parks. Uh, a week ago from today, I did a day trip to Holiday World with Ryan, Ellis, and Sky. And uh, if you saw that vlog, the boys at Holiday World, that was our experience there. Today is the Ace event, Daredevil Days. Unlike Hollywood Nights, which I was not able to attend this year, and I was going to that every year since 2019, I have been to Daredevil Days every year since 2019, and this is my fifth year in a row doing it. We got some awesome activities planned for today. We got a uh, backstage tour of Rookie Racer at three o'clock. So we get to go into the construction area for it. As my zone, I would love to do like a backstage tour of something like Scream and Eagle to come with the walk back to our idea of the boss last year. It would be still kind of cool to go behind the scenes of Rookie Racer. And uh, we got ERT on Scream and Eagle and Catwoman from seven to eight tonight. And the park closes at seven. So we have an hour's worth of ERT later on. And we got boss going there, which I could have drop Scream and Eagle, but I'll be able to marathon that for an hour tonight. So I'm gonna sit with this and uh, this is gonna be an awesome day. Of course, I'm not here by myself for this event. I got Ellis. You wanna say what's up? Hey. And uh, this is your second Ace event. Is that yep. correct? After that Hollywood correct. Nights? That's correct. So I will say this event, in my opinion, is definitely not as good as Hollywood Nights, but I still think it's a blast. Now, I think you're all wondering, where's Ryan at? He does sometimes come a little bit late, but unfortunately, due to some events that have happened over the past few days, he is not able to make it today. But don't worry, he is doing okay, in case you weren't scared. Ryan is doing just fine, but due to unfortunate events, he is not able to make it today, like I just said. But it'll still be fun not having us two to do this. So uh, what part of the event are you most looking forward to? I'm looking guess. forward to ERT on Screaming Eagle. Yep, that's the, gonna be fun. The lunch at the pavilion at noon. Yeah, I might be going there. If not, yeah. I'll probably go. Oh, there we go. We got a safety rider on Boss now. So we're gonna do this one first. And uh, you excited to go backstage with Rookie Racer? Yeah, looking forward to it. And uh, that'll actually, I think, be your second backstage tour, I think, after the one you did during Hollywood Nights this yeah. year. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've never gone into the area of a coaster when it's being built. So this will be a new experience for me as well. This should be a pretty good day. And uh, I got Boss Car on the last turn right now. And there it goes. Full speed ahead. So, uh, since I'll be riding this one now, I'll be able to compare this one to Raven, Legend, and Voyage, which I rode last week at Holiday World. So we're gonna do that once the ride opens out. We actually could have done first train of the day on Batman at 10.55, but why do that? Know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. It's this is just five minutes before the park opened. Yeah, and I saw they were not gonna have it open by 10.55 anyway. They were taking a little bit longer than usual to do the block checks and whatnot. But uh, yeah, we're gonna do boss. Uh, plus uh, this thing, when there's fewer people on a time, it's easier to get a trimless ride on, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which you and I, I think we've been the only ones on the train before and we've gotten a trimless ride before. Yeah. So we'll have to wait and see what else happens here. But a uh, few minutes still until boss opens because they did one safety ride that I think they're doing the second one right now. But once this opens, we'll get on it. First ride of Daredevil Days 2023 is gonna be the boss. More often than not, this is the ride I rope drop during Daredevil Days because uh, Eagles taking forever to open a lot of times. And then in 2021, it was closed for the whole event. So I think it's right that year. We're gonna do boss first and uh, see how it runs. And maybe Ellis and I'll get a tremulous ride. First train of the day on boss. And uh, we had to wait a while because we had to wait for more people to show up. But uh, we got, I think it was like seven people on the train, something like that. Yeah, yeah, something around there. We got a uh, trimless, which is awesome. And uh, they actually have to wait for uh, like 12 people now said it's basically a half full train because uh, they said our train went a lot slower than it should have been in the turn in the big horse which i will say i did notice that you don't look like going slower on that turn as well right yeah yeah i wish you could have went faster but then again we wouldn't have gotten a trimless ride which you did yeah, which trimless cool. ride was awesome like i knew that as soon as we went over the drop of the because i'm like oh my gosh we got it so yeah that was really good we'll come back up to this later on but uh we're gonna head down towards uh justice league and mr freeze and uh i think eagle's actually open because i did see some people on it i think i didn't hear it at least but we'll not worry about that until later because we got ert on it tonight so let's go down towards the front of the park two rides on Justice League to start for uh, right now. 700 something thousand with the second blaster. And that's actually with the first screen freezing. So I managed to get that good with the second blaster. And uh, it, that was with the third screen max as well. So some tells me I probably could have double maxed at that ride if the first screen didn't free because everything else I was doing really good with. And uh, the first ride I got was in car one. And uh, actually red blaster of car one, the display was all screwed up. It said 888,888 the entire ride. So that was weird. I tried to with it at the cancer room if it would work and it didn't change the score so that one's broke and then i did a uh, red blaster car six right now that blaster has given me some trouble in the past they couldn't shoot very fast they fixed it so now i'm able to shoot much faster with it and that's huge so i was able to get a second screen match with it so that was awesome lunch in the catering area is in a few minutes but i gotta ride mr freeze first and i'll go do that great ride there on mr freeze even though i got a trimless ride on boss i think that was better than boss honestly it was ridiculous really intense as well really smooth as well which uh don't remember how it ran last time but my ride just now was excellent Long Orange wasn't as intense as uh, Thunderbirds, which that would be the coaster I think I would compare this the most to. I forgot to mention that uh, I do prefer Boss to Raven and Legend, in case y'all are wondering. Freeze, excellent ride. Definitely coming back to this one later, if time allows. <laughs>
hot minute since I last updated, but uh, I did American Thunder back row, Justice League, and Boss, and I ran just a couple of things. This is this your first time at Daredevil Days? Is that correct? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, you guys mind saying what I got are? the meme shirt. Yeah, he got yeah. a fireball shirt on from the raffle we did the over memes. the catering area. But uh, yeah, if you guys don't mind introducing yourself, say um, what your names my are. Name is Lily my name and is Will. I'm, this park Will. is one of the best Six Flags park. Hot take. Yeah. Hot I mean, I will say I feel like I appreciate this park a lot more. I mean, it looks like a home park. Like Little park for like the yeah. St. Louis area. Yeah, so we did American Thunder back row. Lily, you and I did back row. What do yeah. you think? It was, was really good? fast. I love like the airtime you got. It was really fun. I've never yeah. done it. I was talking to the general manager of the park. And oh, yeah, that's right. Like, and he uh, said they were talking about doing a blue hog treatment. I would be maybe, all for that. Maybe on um, Ninja. Yeah, I would be all for that because I wrote Blue Hawk again this past summer. It was decent. What's it was, like, Blue Hawk? Uh, it's a Vacoma looper at Six Flags Over Arrow Looper. Back row of American Thunder was good. Ellis, you actually did the front row. What'd you think? It was smooth in the front. I was not only I was flying through fast, but the wind was hitting my face a little bit as mm -hmm. usual. So, yep, front's really good on that. Still not as good as Prowler, though. Yeah, Prowler destroys American Thunder. Yeah. And we actually got Colossus testing now, which yeah. first time I've seen that in all day. I don't get why they make Colossus go so fast when it's testing. I don't know why either. But, uh, and then you guys saw me in action at Justice League for the first time. Dude, What'd y'all think of that? You were every second when I blinked, it literally went up a thousand. Next yeah. Out, yep, insane. And we got freeze going. Again. Okay. Sorry, we can play a lot here. Better than that one going back. Yeah. Extending to your life from the spine, but we're really close to it. You can see here. That's going to fly right up the spike there, which uh, we're actually about to go right back because we know they have two trains going. Well, they've been running on quite a bit more than usual. So, uh, yeah, this thing is always the last uh, hit shots on the one onion. Right back up into the inverted top pass. Yep. So, uh, Colossus, uh, I don't know if we'll run that today or not, but, uh. I've never done it. I could do it for the shots. I don't have to get scared first. That's alright. They're not for everybody. I mean, for it, I'm a huge sucker for Sky World and Great America. I've never done it, but I just love it. Yep. This looks so good. It's because mom. And Enterprises. Enterprises are fun. Yeah. So you guys thought uh, it was insane to see Max had just like in person, huh? What'd you think? Insane. It was really good. Yep. It was really good. Not good, but like, it was cool. You were Yep. And uh, Boss. Uh, Lily, that was actually your... Uh, I, First time in the front. I don't think uh, you told me how many times you've ever ridden it before. It was like only your second time ever on it. Uh, I haven't seen it was okay. I've I'm run the boss oh, hundred okay. plus times, but it I was really fast. I got a bug in my eye, but oh, you yeah, got a bug in your eye. I didn't have that. Oh my gosh, freeze! Another one. The best row if you want to ride it because like it's not bumpy. It's, it's not that bad in the front. I feel like all those that don't like it do not ride the very front. Another one. So uh, yeah, uh, front of all was really good on boss and uh, I've been pretty good. I think to uh, beat a couple laps on the because that's uh, so, all. Yeah, let's uh, go take a bite on this. There are a couple actually, I don't know how many. Arms down, head back, and hold on. Mr. Freeze a couple times. I did once in the front, once in the back, and uh, Lily, that was your first time doing the back of the train. Yeah, What'd you it think? Was, it was really fast. I really liked it though. Yeah, really it intense ride. It definitely was like more airtime though. I love it. How like how high you were. Yeah, we were really high up there. Like I looked behind us, the top of the bike. We were pretty close hitting the trim brake at the very top, and I heard that if the train hits the trim brake, the ride has technical difficulties, which means it's running too fast. And uh, they got two trains running, so we did side A twice because that's all in the short Actually, I. Yeah, that looks like it's side B, because side B is consistently running the inverted top hat. 
uh, backwards at a faster speed. Pandemonium isn't gonna happen right now because the flash pass wait was like five minutes, but the platinum because the line is long point. The construction tour for Rookie Racer is in, I don't know, about 15 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is go and uh, do Justice League one more time to get me up to four for today. And then I'll go wait for the construction tour to begin. So let's uh, head down that direction. We don't have much time. about time for the Rookie Racer construction tour. Yeah. We will be going uh, near part of the boss and coming uh, on Rookie Racer like across the train tracks. So I've seen some of these views before last year, which I'll post the link to last year's vlog from uh, last year's Gary Double Days in the description of this one. So you guys go check that out. And that one includes uh, the backstage tour of the boss that we did last year. So that was pretty cool. We're going to be getting some new views of the boss I think I've never seen before. So this will be exciting. I think I might as well run, but a free is something about the boss launch. So uh, there should be training on the base of the Yep, I got it. And, uh, yeah, you'll think of the old ring here just a second, which, uh, any second now, uh, there it is. So, yeah, there's a the pump. Yeah. Every, every Remember how the boss used to, like, shake? Like... I love that. Hello. 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 part of it which that's gonna be amazing i did not expect to get to do that but that's gonna be awesome to see this ride from uh different vantage points and uh really all these other rides boss right back there so this is gonna be cool but uh yeah we'll uh be able to go up the left hill here in just a minute
We finished the Rookie Racer construction tour a little bit ago. That was a lot better than I was actually expecting it to be. Ellis, what'd you think of it? You have fun with that? It was a lot of fun. Like I have, ne like you said earlier, I had never been behind a roller coaster, a roller coaster while they were being built either. Yeah. So that was a good experience. I agree, and uh, I actually had a lot more fun getting shots of the boss from new vantage points I had never seen before. Because well, Rick Reyes wasn't open. Was it better than the backstage tour boss I did last year? I don't think so. Honestly, that tour last year was phenomenal, and uh, that was overall a really solid construction tour, and uh, I'd say worth the time.
While I've been marathoning Justice League so far, Ellis, Lily, Will, and uh, some other person, I forgot what their name was, I didn't ask them. But they all rode River King Mine Train and they'll be on their way here shortly. I have a good feeling I can rank 900,000 in the first screen today. I'm uh, getting better the first one each time. Like I got like, I think 860 something thousand last time. This time I got like 870 something thousand. So I'm going up fast. So overall, I'm doing really good with this first screen tonight. And I'm maxing it at uh, second screen quite a bit, as you probably expect. Our marathon is complete, and uh, Lily, almost 600,000, and this is your first day of learning the secret. Yeah, I don't know how, but... I don't even know either, like, oh, your record before that, like, what was your record before that ride? I thought you know? it was, like, around 150. It might have been, but, whoa! Scooby-Doo props on site. Look at this. These are some of the props from the old Scooby-Doo ride right there. Really good throwback to the ride that I wish was still there, which, uh, speaking of it, five days from now will mark nine years since it closed. Scooby, gone, but never, ever forgotten. I miss that ride so much. I miss it more and more every single year. Screaming Eagle, you guys ready for some ERT? Yeah. Yeah, you ready? Let's do this. We've been waiting almost all day for this. Yeah, I'm excited. Let's go. We got two train outs for ERT. We had a little bit of a late start to ERT, but it was a uh, really show so far. We got a couple rides in. I did most of them in the blue, but they had one or two. Even though our ERT got cut in half due to, uh, I think, a miscommunication between the ride-ups up at Eagle, I still had a great time getting some awesome rides in on Eagle. And uh, in terms of my final ride count for today, it was uh, 13 on Justice League, 7 on Screaming Eagle, 3 on Mr. Freeze, 2 on Boss, and 1 on American Vendor. It was an awesome Daredouble Days, even though I feel like the event last year was uh, a little bit better, but that's because of a better walkback and also a complete hour of ERT, whereas I got like, what, 40 minutes only this time, but highlight. Seeing how Lily get so good at Justice League, which I didn't even know where the heck she was getting so good all of a sudden. Like, I was shocked how fast she was improving. Obviously, I gotta mention Rookie Racer. Backstage store was really good. Everything else was running good. I mean, Freeze was good. Eagle was flying. Boss was also really good. Everybody else got a triple try this morning, which is nice. American Love was also solid. So, overall, I pretty much have no complaints other than the fact that I wish ERT was uh, longer. Today's the first time, and I think in a few visits, that I've not double maxed it. But that's okay. Can't win them all. Before you click off this video, please be sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already. Be sure to comment what you enjoyed about this video. Be sure to share it with someone else you may know. If you're new to this channel and like ways off, please consider subscribing for more content like this. If you do choose to subscribe, be sure to turn the bell on so you're notified every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take whenever I visit parks. Be sure to check me out there as well. There's a link in the description. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you later.